Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to link effects parameters in Reaper using automation items. I have a project in front of me right here with three vocal tracks, and I want to group them together and treat the effects the exact same way. Now, we could do this with folders. But there are times we want to put the effect right on each track individually, especially with compressors. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, if you're familiar with Reaper, you know about track grouping. We could select multiple tracks, hit Shift G, and from here we can group things like our volume, our pan, width, mute, solo, polarity of phase, recording arm, and automation mode. But there's no way of doing it, at least not easily, to link our effects parameters. But now with automation items, it's a lot easier. Now on this first track, I already have some effects. Let's go through them. First, I have a re-EQ that's being used as a high-pass filter to roll off some low-end or rumble. And we can adjust it right here. Next in the chain, I have a compressor, a very simple one where we can control the compression right here and the makeup gain over here. And then finally, I have another EQ. And I'm going to use this to boost the top end. I have it set up to 5K. And then right over here, we can do a high shelf boost with this control. So now I want to apply this to these other vocal tracks and keep the settings always the same. So let's go back to the first one, our high pass filter. And let's touch the parameter we want to control. Now we can go to the menu over here and choose Show and Track Controls. This is really optional, but I really prefer it for this, as it's going to allow us, right on the track over here, to monitor that parameter. So we can see what's going on, even if the effect window is closed. Then we're going to do the Show Track Envelope for that parameter. And that's going to show up right over here, where we could also control the setting. So if we adjust it, we're adjusting our high pass filter. And again, we can see the results right up here. Where we set it to. Let's do the same thing for the other parameters. Starting with the compressor, let's touch this control. Show and track controls. Shows up over here. So if we adjust it, we could see it there and create an envelope for that parameter as well. That shows up right here. And if we adjust it, we could see it changes on the plugin. Do the same for the makeup gain, showing track controls and an envelope. Adjust that here. And then finally, we'll do the same thing to a high boost right here. Just touch it. Showing track controls, track envelope. And that shows up right down here. So now we want to copy all these effects to the other tracks. To make this smaller, let's select all these effects, right click it, and choose copy selected effects, including automation. Now we can go to this one and paste it. And it shows up with all the settings exactly the same way, along with showing up in our track here and creating envelopes right down here. Let's do the same thing for the third vocal. Just paste it, and it shows up here as well. So now we need to create automation items. So let's zoom out to the entire project. Now, we don't have to start right at the beginning. Just make sure we get all the audio. Alt on the PC, option on the Mac, right over here, and just draw it in. Notice the number of the automation item is number one. We'll do the next one is two, and three, and then four. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as it covers all the audio. So now you want to copy all of this down to here. 
So let's select them. And if we just drag it down, we're going to move it. Or if we hold Control on the PC or Command on the Mac, we're going to copy it, but not as a pooled item. They're going to be separate like this. See the numbers of five, six, seven, and eight? We don't want that. We want them to pool. So on the PC, hold down Control and Alt. On the Mac, hold down Command and Option. And now drag them down. And notice the numbers stay the same. One, two, three, and four. And let's do the same thing with the third track. And what I mean by pooling, if I grab the first one and move it, this one and this one move as well. Same with the compression, or the makeup gain, or the EQ. So they're basically all linked together. Now to view them, let's open them up on each track. Here's the high pass filter for each one of them. If we move it right here, they all move together in sync with each other. So at any point, if we want to adjust this in our track, we can just grab it right here and they're all going to be adjusted. Let's check out the compressor. We can adjust the compression on all of them right here. See how it changes over here. Or the makeup gain on all of them. And they all stay linked. Now let's check out the last EQ. Bring it up right over here. And the high boost right here will move at the same time. Now the good thing about this is we don't have to keep these all open in order to adjust them. We can close these all right here, hide all the envelopes right down here. Then if we want to adjust any of those parameters all at the same time, just choose any of these, go to the envelope, and make these visible. The high pass filter, the compression and makeup gain, and the EQ. Then we can adjust it right here, even if we're not seeing it. As you can always monitor it on the tracks over here or over here. But if you want to see it just on one, they're still going to all link. High pass filter right here. That's happening on all three tracks. A compressor right here. And the boosting EQ right here. So you can just view one of them, but all of them are linked and are changing to exactly the same setting. So that's pretty much it. That's linking effects parameters in Reaper using automation items. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.